Welcome to Arusium and to our first English speaking video. I'm Matthias and uh, this will be a Christmas greeting to our friends abroad and I'm going to tell you about a very special aircraft, a true Gothenburg aircraft, GV38. And the story begins in the 1930s. Uh, Gothenburg was by then the capital of shipbuilding in Sweden. And one of the shipbuilders, Göta Werken, had, uh, was involved in building a seaplane cruiser for the Swedish Navy. This project got the Göta Werken interested in building aircrafts, because at that time aircrafts were the future. And uh, what better to, than to try and follow with the times. So Goethe Wecken started their aircraft department and uh, the first thing they did was trying to get or an order from the Swedish Air Force. They got an order to license build free aircrafts of the type Hawker Hart or as Sweden called them B-4s. And uh, there it began. It seemed easy. How hard can it be to build an aircraft when they build, built big ships? However, it became a bit more complicated. Uh, they were inexperienced in building aircrafts, but the biggest complication was that the English firm Hawker dela were delayed in sending the drawings and blueprints. And without blueprints, they couldn't begin building. So in the end, the first aircraft was delivered to the Swedish Air Force over a year late. Goethe Werken had been promised a contract of more aircrafts when the first three were delivered, but when the day came, they were told in no uncertain terms by the Air Administration Board that there would be no more orders. The reason given was the delay. And, uh, despite, and despite the fury and frustration of the, of the Goethe Werken, uh, they could do nothing. It was a cancelled contract, but they could do nothing. So, as I said, the official reason was, was the delay of delivery, and it wasn't really their fault as much as hawkers. But uh, there was a second reason. In the background, strong, powerful Swedish industrialists had gotten together to form a new company that was planned to build the Air Force aircrafts in the future. The company was Svenska Aeroplan Aktiebolagen, or as we know it today, Saab. So, Göta Werken, after a few moments of frustration and despair, decided that they would go into the civilian market and they procured a license to build the American Rear Wing Sporting 9000, a high wing monoplane. And uh, in 1938, the first of them flew in the first test flight. And the first aircraft to be produced was SAAHC. SAAHC and her uh, 13 sisters left the factory between 1938 and 1939. The GV stood for Göta Werken and 38 for the year of introduction, 1938. However, in September 1939, World War II breaks out and all civilian aircraft production in Sweden was immediately cancelled. All resources for aircrafts needed to go to military production. Göta Werken did some aircraft building mostly for the Finnish Air Force by assembling aircrafts and then that would be delivered over to Finland. But otherwise there was not much aircraft production done. And when the war ended in 1945, they decided that now uh, we give this up. So uh, during the war, the GV40, the 14 built GV40, 38s, among them AHC, had been serving as uh, drafted aircrafts into the Air Force, serving as liaison aircraft and reconnaissance aircrafts. 
And after that, no more. Göta Verken stopped producing aircraft and all that remained were 14 blue high-wing monoplanes with an uncertain future. And everything could have ended there. However, in Gothenburg, we have, um, we have the Gothenburg Veteran Aircraft Society, a bunch of dedicated enthusiasts that managed to get, get the remains, I truly say, what remained of AH, AHC in their care. From what was basically a wreck, they started, they restored SEAHC, the first ever GV38, to its original condition, and it is flying condition. It was meant to be flying, flown this summer, but thanks to Corona, it was delayed. But if everything goes well and this pandemic finally disappears, she will hopefully once more grace the skies over her hometown. And with that, I bid you a Merry Christmas and goodbye for until next time.